sometimes air traffic control will clear the back copter for takeoff. So we uh, worked our way through traffic, but boy, you guys are in for a treat today. Yeah. You guys want to take a trip back to the 60s with me? Yeah. To a place called Gotham City? Oh, I don't think so. You guys have been waiting that long, and that's the kind of response. You guys are about to see legends. Let's get this thing rolling without any further delay, so I'm going to bring up this first lady, pure class. Still gorgeous to this day. Oh, she gets better with age. She's just... I'm going to try this. Don't mock me, okay? She's perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet for Miss Julie Newmar! set up at the front of the room. We are running, we're going to have to cut it short today because right after this, I'm going to tell you this now and I'll remind you guys about this later, there's a, a photo op to have your chance to get a picture taken with Adam, Bert, and Julie together. We'll be doing that right after this panel. From there, we're going right over to the table to shake hands, sign autographs, and say hello to everyone. So, uh, welcome. So, they've graciously agreed to answer questions about anything except Batman. So, ask what you want and they let no, I'm kidding. I'm going to start right on this side. We're going to get this going. Oh, we don't say hello, Adam. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sorry, Adam. We were we've been stuck in traffic for the last half hour. I forgot to say. It's okay to say hello. Absolutely. What are you people doing in my room? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it took us an hour to get here from the hotel. How did you do it? You're here. <laughs> you guys all made it. This is wonderful. And, oh, thank you, sir. And believe me, we love you too. That's what I was about to say. You've been the best fans for what, 40 years? And you guys don't look that old. <laughs> All right, who we got, sir? Right here, kneeling down. Yeah, Andrew. Yeah, you want to yeah, Adam, Adam. Please, can we say hello? Hello, Adam. Hello. Okay. <laughs> You can, welcome from Canvas. Hey, look, I'm like, I'm so, I'm He's got a gun. I'm I'm look. Hold tight, sir. Hold tight. I'm coming over to this gentleman. I'll come right back to you. Go ahead, sir. 
All right, so this year we're celebrating the 75th anniversary of the Batman character. Uh, for many people, Adam, you were their original Batman, including myself. So you've introduced that character to so many people, and the character of Batman means so much to so many. I wanted to know what the character of Batman means to each of you. Money. <laughs> Let me just say first, let me correct you a little bit. I was not the original Batman. I'm not that old, baby. <laughs> but, you know, they had two Batmans uh, in, in those uh, movie series, in black and white, before we came out <coughs> and uh, burst forth in all our color splendor. But um, I was the, uh, you know, first television and first uh, the movie Batman. Uh, absolutely the classic Batman. <laughs> the Bright Knight. Bert, Julie, any feedback on that? Fun, fun, fun! Nothing's been more fun than being Catwoman. <laughs> Alright, how many of you girls have dressed up as Catwoman any, any time in your life? such good taste. <laughs> Catwoman is forever. <laughs> There'll be a Catwoman 20, 50, 100 years from now. Right, Robin? <laughs> well, for me, it was a lot of fun working with great actors and actresses like Adam and Julie and many of the other guest villains that came on Batman. We all had a great time. It was an exciting show to do. It appealed to all ages. For kids, it was the hero worship. For adults, the nostalgia of the comic book. And for the teenagers and the college kids, it was the double meanings and uh, kind of campy style where we said one thing. In fact, we used to say that we put on our tights to put on the world. And in fact, it, Adam and I, I think, well, were the Well, why were you wearing your underwear over your tights? <laughs> Well, we, we wore our underwear on the outside of our clothes. On the yeah. yeah, that's what we did. So that was a lot of fun for all of us, and we're glad to be here. Phoenix is a beautiful city. And <laughs> I, have to sit between, I have to stay between uh, Julie and uh, Adam to keep things uh, G-rated here. All right. Let's go to our friends from Kansas over here. All right. Bert, Julie, you guys are awesome. I grew up with you guys, and you know, um, I learned a lot of morals and everything else from you guys, and, and you really have had an impact on my life. So I wanted to ask you, you're like, saying, you're saying you turned out okay? <laughs> you know, are you on, on parole? Even, it's even. You know, I, I actually have to meet with my parole officer after this, so <laughs> I learned that from the Joker. Um, but I wanted to ask, are you guys, you know, all still friends, you know, I know you guys meet at stuff like this, but do you guys, like, do, like, go out to lunch or something like that every once in a while? No, Get a bad house to get all? No, no, because uh, he won't pick up the check. <laughs> <laughs> he ate your meal and my lunch and your dinner. Thanks for the question, sir. We're going to go on to this side of the room over here. This Where are you from, sir? Uh, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Well, my question is for Burt Ward. Out of all of the holy Batman phrases you had to say, which was the most difficult to keep a straight face with the whole time? That's a good question. Uh, uh, there, were, uh, there were so many of them, and all of them were tied to the situation that we were doing. You know, in other words, it wasn't just an abstract. So we had many writers on Batman, and uh, some of them uh, really understood what we were doing, and some of them didn't get the message, so we had to... What's the answer? <laughs> I didn't the background. So for me, there wasn't... I mean, the line, the, the holies were actually very easy as long as they made sense, and I didn't have to change them, but we did have some lines <coughs> that were really difficult to say. So, and, and because my character said them energetically, 
I'll give you one of the lines um, I had was, uh, haven't you some anti-ballistic black flags in your utility bill that <laughs> <laughs> we got someone on this side of the room? Sure, yeah. Um, Adam, hi. Uh, I'm Michael from Arizona, and I've really enjoyed a lot of your animation work. I think you're a wonderful voice actor. Thank you, Michael. Uh, one of my favorite roles that you took on was in an episode of Kim Possible, where you played a uh, well, TV actor, a former TV actor, who became the fearless ferret and was mentoring the next generation of Fearless Ferret. Uh, that episode was based on a show called Batman Beyond, which is about you know, the next generation Batman. And there's been talk about Batman Beyond becoming a live action movie. So I was wondering if they did make a Batman Beyond movie, if you would be interested in coming back as Bruce Wayne. Just call me. Yeah, of course. You know, because we have our own, um, I guess you'd say, uh, feelings as actors uh, when you develop a role. You become either enamored of it or you don't like what you did so much. All these things are working. And, you know, I'd love to play Bruce Wayne again, even animated and do it maybe in a little different way to bring it up to date. Now, I'm talking too much about that. I'm going to give you an acting lesson in a moment. Next question. <laughs> okay, sir. Well, good morning, Adam. Good morning. Bert and Julie. Uh, my question is for Adam. When might we see Bert on Family Guy? Like running against Mayor West for the mayoral seat. <laughs> You paid him. Okay. <laughs> but that's a very good idea. And yeah, I've slowed him. So. What? Because you're the, actually one of the only reasons I watch that show. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not uh, involved in the casting at all. Um, but what's happening with us is interesting. And uh, kind of a sidebar here. Um, there, there are billboards of us as Batman and Robin all over the country now, at bus stops and so on. Even on Sunset Boulevard, there's this huge, what they call, actor's ego board. It's because we were selected to represent the three of us, the 60s, and all those amazing things that were happening. The CNN is, has produced by Tom Hanks, uh, a documentary, if you will, um, about us and others in the 60s. And we did try to reflect the time as best we could with our show, with its bright uh, Andy Warhol type colors, the music, everything that was going on, and the, the satiric elements. And, uh, you know, I could go on. I don't want to bore you with this because I know that we, we just tried to bring you a comedy that you could enjoy for years and years. I think 48 years is doing pretty good, that's for sure. To my left. Evolutionary. How do how how do you feel about how the characters changed over the years from the way you guys portrayed it to what it's become now? We come from light and funny times in the '60s when there was a lot of hope and we were living in a marvelous world. There was Kennedy, it was great arts and everything, and then we had yeah now, and then we had the dark ages, and then we had the dark Batman, and then they had the darker Batman. <laughs> scare you, and that goes for all the politics. <laughs> we, we have, of course, 
observe the changes. And uh, it's become dark and gothic and uh, highly explosive and special effects. And Batman kills more people on the way to the rescue <laughs> than the villains do. But it's okay because they do their thing with a lot of talent and money and attention. We did ours. It was just different. We were, we were the right the funders. Say it again. Well, they're not using actors anymore. They're using these big padded suits. I mean, how, how can you act in a big, big thing that moves like Tom, what's his name there? <laughs> well, yes, Julie, the big difference about that. <laughs> of course, it would I mean, be the you minimals. didn't have any padding. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> and 
I think that Kate got caught in the back of the seat that uh, couldn't, uh, nearly strangled trying to get boost from the Cape. No, we had a lot of fun with our vehicles. And I liked the bat copter because I had a chance to hang upside down from yeah. the bat rope and hand you the anti-shark-off bat spray. <laughs> when you were beating off a shark that was on your leg. Uh, yes, a rubber shark. But you knew that, didn't you? I got to fly in the back cop copter with you, Adam, and your knuckles were white. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Canada? And, and we went, uh, didn't we go to Mexico? And then after that, we... No. <laughs> Sir, stand up here, give us a question. Dave, I'm from LA and I want you to become an actor during college. Uh, any advice to get me started? Yeah, quit. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want the competition. <laughs> it's very difficult, but uh, you have to have a lot of desire and drive and be willing to kill others. <laughs> no, no, I think what you need to do is study because, you know, it's hard to get a break. And when you do get a chance, you really got to perform. You can't like no second takes type of thing. So I would say, and, and what I did is that I studied professionally. And I went to UCLA. I studied there. And when I got a chance, then you know you got to go for it. You just give it everything and take your chance, and and it works. But you got to be prepared because you're likely to get very few chances. You got to make the most of it. If you're studying, just keep doing scenes. And improvs. Mm -hmm. Become a producer and hire yourself. <laughs> Bert, how, what was it 700 kids, 800 kids tried out for Robin? No, 1,100. 1,100 kids tried out for the park. You're a black belt, aren't you? I guess, yeah. But it was, you know, the thing was, is that the, it was kind of interesting for me because. When, when I was selected and I was thrilled, I got to screen test with Adam and that probably made me look better on camera. But when I got selected for the role, uh, they said to me, they said, you know, Bert, the reason why we selected you from 1,100 other actors is because in our opinion, if there really was a Robin, that you personally would be it. And that therefore what we want you to do is simply be yourself and be very enthusiastic and that's really all I did. I had a great time. And working with Adam and Julie, and, you, you know, how could you, I mean, this is the greatest Batman in the world. This is the real one. Thank you, Bert. Uh, you know, I knew within one minute when Bert and I did the screen test that he would be the one selected because of his enthusiasm, his excitement with the role, the way he approached the character, his athleticism, and the fact that he listened to me. <laughs> well, he was uh, terrific in the test, and you know, the chemistry was right. And it worked Great out. Great chemistry. And you did some incredible fight scenes. I watched, I've been watching some of you. I remember the one when the chair, you threw it, and it broke over. No, it didn't. It didn't break over the other guy's head, it broke in mid-air. <laughs> you were good, you were good. <laughs> hey, uh, just a quick uh, note, is there a Josh Kirby in the crowd today? Josh, is someone called Josh Kirby here standing up? No? Okay. Where is Josh? Josh, make your way to the front for me if you could. We'll keep taking some questions here. Over to this side, then. Mr. West, you're so beloved there, and it's just a thrill to see. And I'll buy you some wine. Walla, walla, walla. There you go. Oh, yes. You know, we used to have nothing but wheat there and apples and convicts. <laughs> it's changed. Now it's, it's all different. wine and maybe a few convicts. <laughs> but our favorite sport was uh, 
is standing outside with a rifle and when a convict would escape from the prison. <laughs> Wonderful place. <laughs> Delighted that you came up to say hello. It's a thrill. Thank you so much for having me here. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, we found Josh. Is uh, is there a, a Catherine here that's with him? Is she out here too? Make your way up to the front as well for me, please, if you could. Sir, go ahead. Yes. I got a surprise for you, Adam. You're gonna love this. I'd like to ask Mr. West. Prior to Batman, you were in a lot of dramatic roles, like with James Best, and I was wondering. Do, do you feel that being in a campy show like Batman kind of restricted the roles that you were in afterwards? Well, you know, for a while uh, it was difficult after Batman uh, because it hit so huge. And, you know, when you're identified with a role as, I guess you'd say colorful and definitive as Batman, it's kind of tough to get other work. So I did plays and other things and struggled for about five years. I finally sobered up and <laughs> got off the beach, but the thing is, it was difficult. And however, when we have people like yourselves, so many of you, showing up at these wonderful gatherings, we're so grateful that it, it doesn't matter, because what we did has gotten such a warm and loving response from you people. Thank you. All right, here's Josh. This gentleman came to me yesterday and said that he had a question, but he had to act it out. He couldn't really, uh, he couldn't really articulate it on the microphone. So where, where is Josh? Ah, here he is. I got to turn my mic over. You, Adam, you, you, this is right up your alley. You're gonna, you're gonna... <laughs> Andrew, who are these people? <laughs> Josh, what do you have in your holster? But you are the shadow. Josh, let me give uh, you this, this you mic. Know, this has never happened, Andrew. Uh, <laughs> I am actually the And I, I may get fired after this. Are we safe up here? <laughs> well, there's a baby. He was frisked. This is my, my lovely girlfriend, Kat, that I've been with for nearly three years. And our beautiful Hello. son, we, Jack Kirby, right here. So, Josh. And uh, I've been spending all this time and going out of my way to, uh, I'm in a room full of heroes. I'm with my heroes. And uh, this woman means more than anything here in the court. And, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs>
Oh, they turned it off. I, I, I want to tell you why I'm here at all, why I even am in front of you, why I played Catwoman, why I have this lovely opportunity to be with you beautiful people. It is because of my brother John. You see, he's smarter than I am. He happens to be a Harvard PhD, but you'll forgive him. What are you a PhD in? Uh, social psychology. Anyway, he was the one who said, if you don't do this part, I'm leaving town. So, anyways, thank you very, 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 very much.